Hey guys, Nikki here, and this video will be brought to you by Ashamari Hair. This is a dedicated video showing you how to get this new trendy style that everyone is doing right now. So if you want to see how to get this look and to hear about this beautiful wig, please continue to watch. You know how we do over here so let's hop straight into the packaging there was not a box there's a bag that you can store your wig in when you are not wearing it just wash it up or not and put it back in this bag very cute turquoise bag off inside of the bag you have a eyebrow archer you have your wig caps they give you a pair of lashes so cute a little natural pair they also give you a head edge band edge band and it's the company's logo on there and they give you this edge brush with this different comb at the end I've never seen one like that okay so this is 24 inches you guys can see it is this beautiful reddish brown color it is absolutely beautiful I love this color it's giving very much fall winter um, even though it's like a water wave type pattern it's giving very much winter okay so let's get straight into the installation I am not going to be installing this um, well, no, let me tell you about the inside first. There are four combs. You got two on the side, one in the front, one at the back with an adjustable strap. And I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see how the lace will look up against my skin right here. So now that you have all of that information, now we can get into after it was bleached and plucked. That's what you have right there that was done off camera and let's get started so you guys know i do not use any of the hair glue i say all the time it burns holes in my forehead so i have to use gel still so that's what we're doing right here this is the got to be glue gel and everything that is used in this video will be linked below okay so first just put it on i always adjust the straps at the back to make it tight and she's just adjusting it then she's taking the even spray and this is what she used to make sure that it stay and it locks in and it don't go anywhere being that I don't actually use glue but this work it gets the job done so we're gonna use the edge band and tie that down and let it dry and adhere to my head a little bit so she's just going through the hair combing it out nothing major right now so we're gonna move into the next step which is cutting the lace she's gonna go all the way around and I'm just showing you guys how it look on my head this is a speed tutorial because if I wouldn't have sped it up it would have been like an hour and a half, probably not that long, 45 minutes. And y'all don't have that much time to see through this. All you need to know is that this hair is bum, it's soft, it's, it's beautiful. The, the color in it is beautiful. So what she's doing is starting out the style of it. Now what I will say is the knots in this wig are kind of big. So keep that in mind when you bleach it. And I will say that there's not much parting space. So I think that's what took us a little minute. She had to like start over um, because there was like a track right there that wouldn't allow her to part back so far. So she's working on the ponytail part and she's using a hot comb to smooth it out. She's moving a, using a wax stick to straighten it out. And she's just going to put it in a regular ponytail uh, with a ponytail holder. So after she do that part, she's just slick and trying to make it as neat and slick as possible. And so now she's moving to the little two strings that I want out in the front, which I end up regretting. And I end up taking away at a later date because it was <laughs> in my eyelashes and in my glasses. But that's what she's working on now, that part. And she's working on doing the baby hair. I have worked with this company before and they do have quad split pay options meaning that if you don't want to pay for your wig all up front you can split it up into payments of four and pay on it they also have a variety of wigs straight curly wavy black colored wigs and everything so go on over and check them out if this isn't your type of hair you can also get this hair in black and blonde in all different colors, okay? So right now she's working on the front part. This is probably the easiest but the most complex part. You just slick down on both sides after you put your middle part in. And what you're going to do is just take this hair to the back and put it in a little ponytail. So she's going to pull all of the rest of my hair to the front so that she can go under there with a little rubber band and tie this part at the back so that it will stay like that and it's just gonna blend in with the part that she's gonna leave down at the back 
So the style seems pretty complicated, but if you think about it, it's really easy. So I'm just holding my two strands that I want out while she adjusts. She's going to pluck my baby hair so they're not so thick. So that's what she's doing right now. And then after she plucks the baby hair, of course, she's going to cut them. And she's going to take some mini flat irons and curl them and then lay them down. So that's what she's doing right here. So now what she's doing, she's already cut them. She's just taking this so they will mold easier. This allows her to mold them without having to do a lot because they're already like curled in place. And she's taking that same got to be glue gel that she used to adhere the wig to my head and slicking my edges. Now that we have the edges in place, let's work on popping the curls back. This is just water bin spray with a little bit of Aunt Jackie's curl cream in it. And she's going to show you how she do the back. You just take a very small claw clip and just clip it like that and then put the hair over it so that it covers it a little bit. It's best to do this with a clip that's like the color of the hair, but this clip is not going to show. So I guess it really don't matter, but you never know the wind might blow or something and yeah so now she's working on the front part curling that up and what she's going to end up having to do is use some um one curls put some one curls in the front because that didn't do it <laughs> so that's what she's doing right now with the mini one curl did all this for nothing because like i said if you see me right now i end up just brushing those into the swoop part um because they were getting in my eyelashes and or my glasses so yeah but she's cutting and styling it up right now. So basically that's it. It's a very simple style. It just looks really complicated. Right now she's just using some concealer to disguise the knots a little bit more. And then she's going to go over the part with some powder and define it. And that's it with the styling guys. I hope you guys love this wig. I absolutely love it. It makes me look so youthful and young and it's fun. And it's trendy. So let me know what you guys think in the comment. And don't forget to check out Ashamari Hair. Thank you for sponsoring this video.